This video is the first in a series of videos on the JIT.LCD object in Max. This object allows us to draw stuff. So if I turn this on, I can draw rectangles, filled rectangles, here's a line segment, here's an oval. The JIT.LCD object allows us to do all sorts of shapes like this, as well as text. We can actually type something and also images. Sometimes I wonder if maybe Benadryl sponsored this or maybe it was allergy season when they wrote this. Help file. All right, so in this video, I'm not actually going to show how all of this is working, how any of these shapes are actually getting drawn to the screen. But instead, what I want to do is prove to you why it's worth it to learn JIT.LCD because it can be a little bit tedious. So in this video, I'm going to show a couple of examples of JIT.LCD being used for really cool animation and interactive work. The first two examples are from Todd Ingalls. So we can do just algorithmic visualization. This is a series of lines. Uh, generated by random number creation using the drunk object. We also have this one, which is similar in nature, except for we're starting to add a little bit of interaction. So I can actually take my mouse and I can draw. And again, this has some sort of algorithmic stochasticity to it where the colors that I'm drawing in here with my mouse are chosen randomly. And we're also doing some rotation on this. It's really cool. It's mesmerizing. OK, let's turn that off. <clears throat> we can also do things. This is one of mine. This is a motion activated patch, actually. So it's hard to see because you can't see me. Here I am waving. So this bar up here is showing how much motion my webcam is taking in. And the more motion it takes in, the more circles it's drawing to the screen. And then I can also, because I can take in any data type here, I could also do something like this, where I've got some music visualization, or in this case, this is my son, Giggles. I can also take in colors from another image. Turn that off. Oh, man. Let's see. I've also got this hooked up to my voice. So you should be able to see now if I did it properly. Stop this. But as I'm talking, so I've got now some live audio input that I can control also these live visuals. So the louder I'm talking, the bigger these circles are getting. I'm also currently scrolling them. I don't have to do that. I could have it just sit still across the screen like this. OK, so those are four quick examples proving to you why the next series of videos in which you have to learn about tedious left, right, top, bottom, pixel sizes, multiplication and division, and all the math and this thing called iteration where we feed the video into itself and then over and over again, which is confusing, uh, why it's worth it. Because then you can build fun, cool things like this.